In this video, I'm going to talk about my personal list of top 10 NFTs for beginners in Townstar. I'm going to talk about what the NFTs are used for, how much of an advantage I think they provide, show the recent price it has been selling for on OpenSea or the Gala Games Store, and give you two ratings that I made. One rating for the overall utility of the NFT, and another rating for the value for the price. None of this is financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions about these NFTs and giving you some information about how they work. If you decide you would like to purchase something from the Galley Games store and you would also like to help support the channel, you can do so by clicking the affiliate link in the description of the video. I will start from number 10 until I get to the number one thing on the list. Number 10 on this list is the Style and Ride, which is one of the most expensive NFTs on this list. The Style and Ride comes in two rarities, Epic and Legendary. The Epic provides one passive iron and the Legendary provides two passive iron. The passive iron can be used with lumber mills in order to craft oak barrels without needing to craft the iron since the iron is provided passively. This unlocks the ability to do a very powerful rush known as the oak barrel rush which can be done to earn you lots of money near the beginning. The epic silent ride goes for about $285 on OpenSea and the legendary goes for about $540. Although they are expensive they are very useful because of the oak barrel rush and they can also help you out in other metas that require iron. For the epic I do think it's worth the price because it opens up the ability to do the oak barrel rush. Although the Legendary would allow you to do an expanded version of the Oak Barrel Rush, I do believe that it is not necessary. Number 9 on the list are the Gasoline Refinery NFTs. They come in two rarities, Rare and Epic. These allow you to craft gasoline directly from crude oil, allowing you to skip the step where you have to craft petroleum. Since you won't have to build two refineries, you will save 20,000 cash at the start and the time it takes to build them. You will most likely always have to make gasoline production, so this is an NFT that you will always be using. These gasoline refinery nfts also cast less shade and dirty than the in-game refinery which casts four shade and four dirty the only difference from the rare and the epic is that the epic casts even less shade and dirty and it also requires four energy instead of six energy to craft gasoline i do believe that the rare gasoline refinery will help you out as for the epic gasoline refinery i think it is too expensive for the small additional utility that it provides number eight on the list is the hatchet hang jr this is the lumberjack nft that provides a couple of benefits. It will cast one shade instead of two shade allowing you to have it closer to tree farms. It reduces the craft time for wood and oak wood by 10%. This has a maximum of three stacks and it increases the movement speed of all lumberjacks by 15%. This has a maximum of three stacks. And just to be clear, this is for Lumberjacks only and not loggers. The trading price on OpenSea is about $65, but you can find it on the Gala Games Store for $70. In order to get the maximum of three stacks, you will have to place three of these in your town. This will give you a total of a 30% craft time reduction to wood and oak wood and a 45% movement speed bonus to all Lumberjacks. The movement speed bonus also applies to the Hatchet Hank Jr. as well. Even if you only have one of these, I do believe that the utility is helpful. However, if you do have three of these, you will see the full potential of the utility since all the Hatchet Hank Juniors will move faster. This is an NFT that you will always be using from the start and possibly all the way to the end. Number seven on the list is the Great Sawmill. This is an NFT lumber mill that does not cast any shade. Does not require a road to be placed and the worker will move faster. This NFT goes for about $95 on OpenSea and $100 in the Gala Game Store. And for a limited time, you can use promo code SDCC23 in the Gala Game Store in order to get 30% off and purchase it for $70. This promo code will be valid until July 24, 2023, 11 a.m. Pacific time. As a reminder, you can purchase the NFT through the link in the description of this video if you want to help support the channel. This is an NFT you will use all the time and it helps out much more than you think. You will always need to build a lumber mill in order to make lumber which is required to get to your gasoline production. By having the great sawmill you will save 50,000 cash from having to build that first lumber mill and it will also give you the opportunity to place it closer to the trees without impacting them. Additionally you can also use the great sawmill NFT to get a jump start on your oak barrel rush if you pair it with the styling ride. Saving the initial 50,000 cash can give you an immediate jump start to the oak barrel rush. If you can get this with the $70 promo, I think it's an absolute steal. It's going to help you out and you only need one of them. Number six on the list is the rare water pump. 
it is a water pump NFT, but instead of providing one passive water drum, it will provide three passive water drum. It only has a proximity of one, which means it only affects the tiles surrounding it. This one goes for about $50 on OpenSea. The utility on this is very helpful for your gasoline production because it can eliminate the need of buying two water pumps. This can save you 60,000 cash and the time it takes to gather all the oak wood and wood that you need to actually build two water pumps. The water pump does still need to be connected to a water source like a pond, ocean, or river. This NFT saves you at least one space and since you most likely always need to get to gasoline production, then this NFT will always be used to help you out. Number five on the list is the Express Depot. This is a trade depot NFT that completes a sale in half the time. So if a trade depot takes two minutes to complete a sale, the Express Depot will complete it in one minute. It's also more gasoline efficient. So in competitions where the trade depot consumes two gasoline per sale, the Express Depot will only consume one gasoline per sale. It can be purchased for about $13 on OpenSea. However, there is a way to purchase it on the Gala Game Store by purchasing Gala Gold. Gala Gold costs $50. It is a lifetime membership for a limited time. It will eventually be going to a subscription based model. If you do purchase Gala Gold, you will instantly receive the Express Depot. Other perks include access to private channels in the Gala Games Discord, access to limited time events and reward pools, and occasional free NFTs for upcoming games. For $13, I do think it is well worth the price. And for $50 with Gala Gold membership, well, I think that the Gala Gold membership will be worth it overall in the long run if you can get the lifetime Gala Gold membership before it moves over to the subscription based model. Number four on the list is the Great Woodlands Ghost Card. This is an NFT that can be applied, so nothing has to be placed on the town for this one. There are various rarities from common to ancient, but I will only be showing the rare to ancient rarities. These cards provide an effect which reduces the craft time of wood. The rare one will reduce the craft time for wood by 10.5% and that goes all the way up to 21% for the ancient. You can see the various prices on OpenSea for the ghost cards and my ratings according to those prices. I would also like to mention the Grand Oaks ghost card. If you are planning on doing an Oak Burrow rush with the style and ride, then the Oak Wood craft time reduction from these effect cards will help you out. Overall, they don't have that much utility as you can see based on my ratings of them and the prices of these can greatly vary. But specifically for the Oak Barrel Rush, they will help out. That's why I wanted to mention them right here. Number three on the list are the Haunted Mansion pieces. This is a total of six NFTs which provide passive crude oil. The first two are the Haunted Graveyard and Haunted Crypt. These provide one passive crude oil. If you can manage to get two of them for two passive crude oil, then you will have full passive crude oil for your petroleum, which would be a huge advantage. When I was checking the prices, Haunted Graveyard was going for cheaper than the Haunted Crypt, and they have the exact same utility. So if you can get the Haunted Graveyard for about $45, that would be the better deal. The next three pieces are the Haunted East Wing, Haunted West Wing, and the Haunted Porch. All of these provide two passive crude oil. The Haunted East Wing and West Wing have the exact same utility, and they're going for about $230 on OpenSea. So either one will work. They just have a different physical appearance. Now the Haunted Porch, it also provides two passive crude oil, but this one comes with an additional ability. It will come with a unit that is able to craft pumpkins at a time of two minutes and 30 seconds, just like a green timer pumpkin field. However, you don't need any water or any other resources in order to craft it, and the unit moves fast. So as soon as it's done crafting pumpkins, it will deliver those pumpkins to a nearby silo. This additional benefit may prove useful in some situations, but usually it won't be. It is also slightly more expensive than the other two options. The passive crude oil will always prove to be useful. Yes, in some situations you will have a town with an oil seep, but you can just sell that oil seep for an additional 25,000 cash and set up your own passive crude oil however you want, wherever you want in the town using these NFTs. Now the last haunted mansion part is the haunted main tower. This one provides three passive crude oil and it is much more expensive going for about $620 on OpenSea. I do not think it is worth paying that much for this utility. Number two on the list are enchanted ornaments. There are a total of 12 enchanted ornaments. They will either reduce the global wages or reduce the store cash costs. Overall, I do think it's a great idea to get all 12 of these, but I have various ratings for these. I do think that the reduced store cash costs are much better than the reduced global wages.
wages because it will allow you to purchase buildings sooner since they will be cheaper and give you less problems with cash. These NFTs can range from as little as $4 to as high as $33 on OpenSea. If you were planning on only getting one Enchanted Ornament, I would choose Enchanted Ornament number 5 for the 9% reduced store cash costs. The Enchanted Ornaments will automatically apply in-game. And number one on the list are Miranda Skins. There are a total of 50 different Miranda Skins across 10 different packs. Each pack contains 5 different skins, which I will be showing off all the skins. These skins will change the appearance of the building in-game, but the reason they are number one is because they provide the best global benefits in the game. Miranda skins provide a 2.5% movement speed boost and a 1% craft time reduction to everything. You can receive this benefit once per skin per each pack. In order to get the max benefit, you would want to have one Miranda skin from each of the 10 different packs. This will provide you with the maximum benefit of a 25% movement speed bonus and a 10% craft time reduction to everything. It doesn't matter which skin you decide to get, even if you don't have that building placed in your town, you can still apply the skin and you will still receive the benefits. You do have to remember to apply the skins within the game, but you can go to the skins tab and select the apply skins button in order to apply all of them at the same time. Miranda skins are overall the best NFT to give you a competitive advantage in Townstar. Most of them range from $10 to $20, so you can probably complete a full set of 10 Miranda skins for about $200. Earlier in the video, I showed you the production rate before applying the Miranda skins. I was producing about 500 oak barrels per hour. Now, with all the Miranda skins applied, that has increased my production to 670 oak barrels per hour. This is over a 30% boost to production. So as you can see, Miranda skins provide a great advantage in the game. If you're interested in finding out what all the NFTs do, you can check a resource I created called the Town Star Playbook. Link to that will be in the description. The last thing I want to remind you is that the value of NFTs can change depending on the market, updates, new additions to the game, and competition metas going on. If you found this helpful or informative, leave a like. If you think there's another NFT that should have been top 10, let me know in the comments. And the final reminder, if you do plan on purchasing anything in the store, you can do so from the link in the description of the video if you want to help support the channel. As always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.